Hi folks, um, thanks for joining us on this video. Uh, this is the design for Fleur and for Timmy. It's Andrew here and Enzo from Home Theatre Engineering. So I'll let uh, Enzo kick off and then uh, I'll add some uh, points as we go along. Now guys, um, obviously you came to us with a, uh, an idea for your room and um, we've had a look at a few options and bits and pieces. So this is your room uh, currently. Um, and as I explained to Timmy, I did go for a fully finished product. I know that at the moment um, the budget not might allow certain things, but I thought at least we'd like to finish it and work our way back. Um, we did have our first conversation was, I guess, one of the major issues, which was the window. Um, and I know Timmy sent me a message about blocking that window out completely. Um, we did discuss using a uh, some form of tracking system for the panels. However, because the window goes right to the ground, um, it's just something that looking through many options, it's not really feasible, uh, not, as, not as simple and essentially probably not going to finish off looking the best as well. Um, so ultimately we would prefer to completely block that out, um, but it is your room and you know ultimately that's your decision. Um, as you can see we've got four acoustic panels um, on either side of the room, okay, and the rear one has the side surround. And at the back of the room, we have some diffusers with the um, rear surrounds as well. Um, we could hide those in panels if you wanted to uh, in the future, so just to keep the symmetry and everything the same. Um, but we've opted for leaving them as is. Um, one of the other issues, I guess, was the width of the room. Uh, the fact that the door is only, well, it's here, and you guys have changed that to a barn door, which is great. Um, it still doesn't leave us a lot of room. I did express my concerns with Timmy about the lounge. Um, this lounge is 2.7 metres wide. Uh, it's a three-seater, which works great for the person in the middle because it hits that sweet spot where the cinema is essentially designed, uh, designed around. Um, but it does only leave you, um, you know, you're talking about 438 millimetres either side. Now, to give you that in perspective, most airlines are anywhere from 450 to 500 in the aisle. So it's still easy to kind of get around. Um, you could shift the lounge a little bit over to the left, but then obviously that would affect um, the sweet spot position. Um, the other thing I guess that um, we've calculated is the reflection points and you know why the panels are going in that location completely. And it's worked out really well because of the door. We've kind of didn't want to have to end up putting one on the door because it wouldn't work due to the barn door sliding on the outside of the room. Um, so the way that they've been positioned actually really work quite well with the reflective points. Okay, and with these points I'll get Andrew to take over and explain those a little bit more in detail. Great, thanks very much. So I'm just going to remove the screen here so that you can see where your, uh, your speakers are. Um, and these, these have been carefully designed um, so that uh, obviously we get the best uh, um, acoustic or audio coverage. Um, so, assuming we have the baffle wall at the front, um, the way these have been installed, um, we've worked out some angles and I'll show you that shortly. Your left and right speakers are angled in um, about uh, 5 degrees um, and as the centre one is actually tilted down, that would actually be slightly higher. These are all to make sure that the tweeters are firing at your seating positions and that's been carefully calculated. On top of that, we calculate out the mirror points and so uh, these lines and measurements you see are where the reflections would hit the wall. So if we look at the right wall, this, these black lines here are where the sound from the speakers would bounce off the walls and come back to your main listening positions. All right, so uh, quite a bit of work's gone into making sure that these are all in the correct place. Um, uh, to add to that, of course, your, um, your micropurse screen would sit in front of those and um, the other thing is that uh, you, you have to be sort of careful in terms of the width of the screen and we would suggest even though we've put a, a fairly big screen um, into the room, and we'll just have a quick measure on that, that's at the moment approximately 3.159 millimetres wide, um, we would probably suggest you go a little bit smaller than that because that's going to increase your light on the screen and we can afford to come in a little bit given the speaker position, so we can talk about that. We've also got enough room under the screens for, for uh, racks or equipment, depending on how, how you choose to form, form that um, 
uh, the, uh, the front stage area. Also at the front, um, uh, you'll find there's a subwoofer sitting here that's hidden behind the screen and there's one at the back here. Now these suppositions have been calculated out um, and uh, we can, uh, with an email, we can send you some screenshots of the uh, room sub-calculations, which is actually quite involved. As Enzo said, um, the left and right surround speakers are hidden in these panels here and you can see the um, future position for your Atmos speakers at the top here. And we do understand that what you want to do is start off with these. Um, I draw your attention to your email because we've got a few suggestions with this so that you get a better overall result and I think you'll be quite excited with, with what we have to recommend. Just going on also from Enzo's comment, uh, what you could do, if, if only the two of you predominantly are going to be watching the movie, you could either just put a two-seater in here and throw beanbags in the front, which a lot of our customers do, or you could even just, as Enzo said again, move the seats to the left so your centre and right seat are actually located in the middle of the room. That's not something that we need to be too stressed about. What is important is where the room sits in uh, where the seat sits sorry in terms of its position in the room you can't go up to the back wall because of what we call the base um, you get base loads up against the back wall and uh, so we need to bring it into a certain point the other thing is we can't go further back because of the surround speakers on the left and right and the doorway um, we, we've got nowhere to put the the left and right surrounds and we don't want them any further forward than that 90 degree mark um, the uh, um, layout of the speakers is confirmed by this diagram. This is accurate to the uh, Dolby specifications. Don't be alarmed. It looks pretty radical when you first look <laughs> at it. Uh, so I'll just give you uh, the top view first of all and just turn this around a little bit. Oh, hang on a sec. Let me just get this, just get the pilot flying this thing properly. Uh, just, all right, there we go. So, uh, and I'll just get rid of the reflection points there's, there's quite a lot going on here, so we'll go a step at a time. Okay, so the reflection points are gone. What these um, lines indicate are the correct angles and positions for your speakers for up to a 9.XX system, so depending on subwoofers and Atmos. So you can see that your left and right speakers are within the cone that's dictated by Dolby here. We're not doing any forward um, or um, speakers so we've got your left and right speakers here you can see that we we can't push this back any further because of your doorway and then if we spin the room around you can see that your rear speakers also sit perfectly within Dolby specifications works quite well doesn't it yeah it's, it you've been very fortunate in the fact that um, that your room works exceptionally well and you know what at some time in the future if you did want to put some uh, additional speakers and turn it into 9.1, you could actually hide them in these two panels here with some modification. Um, so you've always got room to develop this, which is quite kind of interesting. Uh, finally, I'm just going to turn the room sideways, and what you should be able to see is the Atmos speakers align perfectly with the 80 degree mark. This is 10 degrees off vertical. And so again, they've been positioned and they're accurately in line with the tweeters of the left and right speaker. So everything in this room is perfectly the specification, which is really cool. Um, I think that's sort of it. I'm just going to throw you back to Enzo for a few comments, and he can take you a little bit further through this design. Now, guys, um, Timmy, we were speaking um, about this front wall. Um, obviously, we're, we'll guide you through the construction of that. Um, we can do it, um, but obviously, because you're great on the tools, um, it's something that we can help you with. As you can see, these speakers are angled in. Um, and that's something that we will do on installation. Um, and the, um, I'll just remove, where is it? Um, we, we, in relation to your question about how much depth we're going to have, there's 550 there. I think that works well. Um, any less, when it'll start pushing, you know, the fact when you've got amps and cables and bits and pieces. Um, I think the 550 um, is, yes, you know, one of the things and one of the comments I think you made was that it, it will probably make the room feel smaller, but when the lights are out and the movie's on, it, the room's going to feel big. Um, and because everything's been calculated and everything's been um, done properly, um, it's going to sound like a big cinema. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll guide you um, with that in an email. I'll send you through some details about this front uh, wall. 
and um, yeah, you know, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, realistically, um, we can do this in stages, and um, you know, we'll, we can run through that and work with you to get this done. Um, let us know you, what you think, your thoughts, and um, we'll just take it from there and and uh, look forward to working with you. Yeah, look, this is a great project that can be done incrementally. Um, you know, there's there's no pressure or obligation on anyone to, to do this thing, you know, straight up. So we're more than happy to work with you, you know, through this process. Uh, but I can tell you very much that uh, we've worked on some smaller rooms and uh, this room here, if, if you um, work progressively and slowly towards this end design, is going to be absolutely exceptional. Um, you know, uh, and if you take on board some of the suggestions, things like making the screen a little bit smaller, the fact that you get more light on the screen and uh, you'll get uh, better resolution because the pixels become smaller and so on and so forth. Uh, and with the panels in the right place and the colors all laid out and, and the cinema black, it's gonna be phenomenal, guys. You're really gonna be blown away by this. It's gonna sound great. So look, um, we thank you for trusting us with your design. We thank you for engaging us. And um, obviously, it's just the beginning, but we hope we like you, that you like, um, you know, what we've uh, put together for you so far. All right, guys. Thank you very much. We'll be in touch.